Oh, goody. All right. What's going on, everybody? Zombies here again. And today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. So, Deadpool Zider is out, and people are not happy about it. So today we're going over everything wrong with Deadpool's Diner and talking about the things that myself and many others really do not like about this mode and where things really went wrong. I'll get the one positive thing out of the way at the front here. The one good thing about this mode that I don't think anyone can deny is the free rewards are good. There are a lot of them. They're good. A free card is good. I don't think anyone's really saying otherwise, but if you're looking for one thing to be good about the mode, it would be that. And also, if you're looking to find decks to have success in Deadpool's Diner, I highly recommend checking out yesterday's video. I've had a solid amount of success in the Diner, currently sitting around the 5 million bub mark. I expect to be getting Cassandra Nova sometime later today, and the decks that I've outlined in that video were what helped me succeed, and also are things I've seen other people have success with. So if you're struggling in the deck department, highly suggest going to check out yesterday's video, link in the description below. With all that out of the way, let's talk about all the things wrong with Deadpool's Diner. I'll also be throwing up some gameplay on screen here, so there's something to watch in the background while we talk about this. So, the first thing that went wrong is the most obvious one. A lot of people booted up the mode, they were excited to play it, and then all of a sudden they realized, oh, I lost my first or second game, now I can't play the mode again. You get a nice little pop-up telling you, hey, if you want to keep playing, you should give us money. Otherwise, you'll have to wait. And while time-gated stuff like this isn't exactly a new phenomenon in mobile gaming, it uh, definitely is a new thing for Marvel Snap, and one the players do not seem to be enjoying. This isn't surprising, though. When your first experience with a new mode that you are potentially excited to dive into and play a bunch of is, oh, I lost, and now I either have to pay or wait to actually experience the new mode that the developers have been hyping up, that's not a great time. I think it was communicated very poorly just how differently this mode is going to play out compared to normal Marvel Snap, so a lot of people went all in, lost their bubs, and were having a bad time. The developers are updating this so that the lowest tier of the diner is a bit less punishing uh, by lowering the initial bubs used, so starting out with one, going up to that five times max double. And while that will help with that issue in specific a little bit, I don't think it's a magic bullet that is going to fix the mode for a lot of people. Possible this could have been mitigated a bit through some better tutorials or better explanations surrounding the mode before its release, but Second Dinner didn't seem to prioritize making that happen. Frankly, it's kind of absurd to me that something like this wasn't caught in playtesting, and it makes me question how much they actually play test their own game. Because if thousands and thousands of players are running into the same issue and the same frustration, I just don't understand how something like that was overlooked in test. It doesn't make sense. Now, many people have brought up this issue gets less bad when you get further into the diner. And as someone who is a fair bit into it, I think that is generally true. Some people will warm up to the diner more once they get out of that hellish early game. I don't think those issues in specific are the only or main problem of the mode. They're just one of many, and one that gave a lot of people a really sour first impression. Which matters. The exponential scaling also seems to be really problematic, just in terms of uh, how it makes players feel. Uh, when you're fighting in those lower tiers for a few hundred or a few thousand bubs, and you burst out, and you don't have any more bubs, and you have to pay or you have to wait, uh, that feels really bad, and you look at the rewards track and you wonder, how am I ever going to get to 15 million to get Cassandra Nova? And a lot of people end up feeling like, well, I just can't. I probably won't. And that feels super duper bad. Now, I do think a lot of people will actually earn this card, because in my experience, the exponential scaling, you really do start getting a ton more the more you engage with the mode and whatnot. But players have no way of knowing that experience until they experience it. So the whole way this exponential scaling was designed just leads to a lot of unnecessary frustration. Again, this is something I don't really see how it didn't come up at all in playtest. It also really doesn't help when the thing many players are seeing when they go to a stream watching Deadpool's Diner on the first day is streamers spending money or gold in order to refill the bubs to keep going to get that reward. I think that leaves a sour taste in a lot of players' mouths. As a content creator, I get it. People want to create content around the new mode. You don't want to just be sitting there not engaging with it. And obviously, 
they are making money off of it so the cost is often offset but when a key strategy you're seeing a lot of people engage in is spending gold to get to the higher table sooner where there is no one so you get bots and easy rewards and wins i i just think that gives a very poor impression of what the mode wants to be i really want to harp on the pop-up you get though uh, when you do lose out and you don't have enough bubs to continue at the table you're playing. I think this is one of the most predatory things Snap has ever introduced. It is very clearly designed to prey on people who are predisposed to gambling issues. And unfortunately, from everything I've seen, it's been very successful at doing so. Mobile games are no stranger to this. This is one of the reasons why mobile games make so much money. Uh, but I think this is one of the most gross ways we've seen it in Snap. And it's just very disappointing to see it be a core part of a new mode. Another point leading to a lot of frustration, and this is something I think that is only going to continue, is Arsham's dominance in the metagame and the impact that card and archetype has on the snap function. Deadpool's Diner is a mode where you should be retreating on the end of turn four way more often than in many other modes. You really only want to stay in when you feel confident that you have a good shot. And Arsham, with its larger deck size, extra energy, and random cards, makes it inherently really hard to feel confident about the games you're staying in on. Given he remains to be one of the most played cards in all of Snap, and that the new counter card is essentially locked behind this new mode, I think a lot of people who might not be enjoying themselves a whole ton right now are bashing their heads against the wall, trying to get this counter card in the hopes that it makes their experience a bit more enjoyable. But to me, that just seems like a recipe for burning a lot of people out. This next point is going to be something that not everyone agrees on, but it is something I feel pretty strong about. I think the core mechanic they decided to base Deadpool's Diner around is bad and makes for less fun games of Marvel Snap. The snap mechanic is an integral part of the gameplay experience. It is important to making snap what snap is. However, it is not the thing that I think most players actively enjoy the most from snap. I'd say that would be the gameplay. A classic example of this is how people really like getting to infinity because then they can stay in games more often. They like seeing how things play out. And well, even if they lose, they don't feel quite as bad about it because it's just kind of fun watching all the cards come down and seeing how the game ends. Due to the focus on auto doubling and being incentivized to retreat when things aren't going well early, you see a lot less of that gameplay in an average game of Deadpool's Diner. So to me, it really feels like they're focusing on the wrong part of the game with this mode. I don't know how they came to this decision. I don't know if they were struggling for other ideas or what, but I think doubling down on, hey, extra doubling is what we're going to base this whole thing around, wasn't a good move. We as human beings are predisposed to naturally remembering the bad things that happen to us much more strongly than the good things that happen. And Deadpool's Diner has been a perfect example of that. People remember the games where they bust out and they can't continue playing the mode a lot more than the games where they're winning a large amount. And maybe I'm unlike others in feeling this way, but to me, those games where you have the really, really big losses, they feel so much worse than the games where you just have the really big wins. I don't feel like I'm getting five times or even two times the amount of enjoyment or satisfaction out of a big win in the diner compared to the negative feelings that happen with a loss. And that's coming from someone who has had a pretty successful time in the event. If you're someone who's been struggling in the early tiers, I imagine that frustration gets even greater. I don't know how they ended up coming to the final conclusion that the main thing they wanted to base the mode around was this whole extra doubling, uh, but I really don't think it was the right decision. And I think it's going to be something where a lot of people just stop engaging with it after they've hit the maximum amount of rewards they're going. Personally, as someone who is really excited for just any new way to engage with the game, it has been incredibly disappointing to feel like the only reason I'm playing this mode is just to get the rewards. I'm actually looking forward to being done with it already on day two, because the gameplay and patterns it encourages aren't what I like about Marvel Snap. They just aren't the things that lead to me having the most fun with the game. And really, that should be the priority of a new mode from the start, shouldn't it? I know some people do enjoy the auto-doubling and are having that more fun, 
more power to you. I'm happy you're having fun with it, but for me as a player, I'm incredibly disappointed this is what they decided to spend so much development because it's not something I'm looking forward to engaging with again. And it sounds like we will be engaging with it again because the Deadpool's Diner is slated to return at different times in the future. And that seems even more likely with how obvious it is that a lot of people are just throwing an absolute ton of money into it. I think myself and a lot of other people will be able to get all the rewards free to play. I can't give anyone a reasonable time frame for how that is going to happen. It just varies way too much for each player to reasonably map all that out. But even if that is possible, it doesn't change the fact that there is this slimy pay to win feeling from it. And I think as more players, especially those who have paid money or gold are getting faster access to Cassandra Nova, it's really going to leave that bad pay to win taste in people's mouths. So yeah, those are the things I think are wrong with Deadpool's Diner. And I'm just really disappointed this is the main new mode we had to look forward to. Because aside from going for the free rewards, which are by far the best part of the mode, it's not something I ever really want to engage with. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know what you think about Deadpool's Diner in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you have a different point of view? I'd love to hear it. I'll be streaming more of the mode later on today to hopefully finish up the grind for Cassandra and test her out a bit. So if you want to see some live gameplay, check out the Twitch link in the description below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.